What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video we're going to be talking about link metrics and why they're really important for various uh, SEO activities. So in the, in, and we're going to be talking about using a group by SEO tool to really get the most out of the tools that are out there because you kind of need it in order to get certain special features. So we'll come back to this. You can, you can get a link to this tool in the description below and uh, I'll discuss this in a moment here. In the past, I've used uh, a combination of things, really. Dom Detailer has been a great resource. You can basically pay a one-time fee, like 25 bucks or 50 bucks, and you can get access to API credits through Moz and through Majestic. And so this, this has been a great utility for years. This is most of what I've needed. Unfortunately, when you look at the, the fields they provide, it doesn't provide any kind of spam score. And so recently, as I've been looking more at the spam score, trying to get you know cleaner backlinks for projects, um, it just became an absolute necessity because I re I'm real I've come to realize that that really is the the main thing you need to look at. Um, so I I would still use Dom Detailer for majestic metrics, but. And I sent them a support ticket regarding um, the spam score, the lack of the spam uh, option, because if they're pulling API credits, they have the option. They just haven't kitted it into their tool. Excuse me. So um, there, there's other things that we need in order to get that spam score. And it also doesn't show us any insights on the numbers of keywords ranking or traffic projections. And so that kind of led me to using SE ranking for a little while. And so if we grab something, let's see. Uh, well, let's just put, I don't know what would be, let's just put moz.com in here <laughs> as an example. So when you look at, I really love SE rankings dash. They are one of the best tools out there in terms of how they present the data. And the most useful part about the tool really is the number of keywords that it shows ranking um, for that project. And when you're looking at it like, like this, you can use these graphs uh, to give you an idea about the, the increase in rankings that they've had. So, and th this is something that for some reason, a lot of tools don't get how important this is. Like you need to be able to see uh, for any particular domain, it doesn't matter if you're looking at a, a prospect for getting a backlink or if you're trying to uh, look at maybe an expired domain, you need to be able to see some sort of history, you know, of maybe not necessarily traffic because that's kind of estimated, but the, the keyword rankings over a period of time. And you really want to see that it doesn't matter what your use case is, you really want to see like, have there been uh, steady rankings or any, you know, consistent, you know, numbers of rankings over a consistent period of time. And so that's why I really love SE ranking. The problem is that their database is so much smaller than everybody else's. They, I believe that they source their domain trust and they say it's an aggregate quality score. And I, in some other place, I think that I read that it was based on Moz, excuse me, which is fine. Um, but it doesn't always have data, you know, for ranking for the for the numbers of keywords ranking. And this is this is a big there's a big difference between a tool that can you know track rankings versus a tool that tracks like the quantity of rankings. You see what I'm saying? Like there's a ton of tools that will track the rankings of keywords, but a lot of these tools don't understand the importance of needing to know the numbers of rankings that a domain has. And that way you can get an idea of, you know, whether or not this domain is trusted by Google, you know, in that it's being ranked a lot. And so this is a really cool utility. But like I said, I couldn't really get this to work at scale because there's no way to bulk import into this region, to my knowledge, to be able to get a, a variety of rankings for domains um in a list form you know to my knowledge you can only do this one at a time maybe there's an api where that that could be different and if that's the case i mean that would be worth building a tool around 
I also don't know that there's a spam score. We've got, let's see, a lot of locations, so that's great. Referring domains, backlinks, traffic, keywords, paid traffic. Let's see, page trust, domain trust, SERP features. So I don't, I don't know that there's a spam score, and it might be in organic traffic. It might be in like the backlink checker section, which is far more limited because it's technically checking the backlink profile of whatever the domain is. And so that, that might be an API feature. So again, that might be something to base maybe a tool around to bulk import from SE ranking, something to think about. Point is though, that led me back to Moz. Now, if we go to Moz, um, let me see here. If we pop out Moz, give me a moment here, then we can drop in a domain into the link explorer overview section and it'll tell us ranking numbers of keywords and it'll all also tell us if we take a look at the uh let's see it's i thought it was visible on the overview page but when you're looking at the links the inbound links like if you click on this it'll show spams i think it'll show spam scores let's let's check it yeah it shows spam scores here on the side and then there's like a whole dedicated spam score section. And this is something I didn't realize about Moz until recently. I've, I've, you know, used that for years, but I didn't realize that they're like the only service out there that has this score. I mean, because it, it's not in Ahrefs and I'm pretty sure that Majestic doesn't have anything like that. I need to double check on that. But I did, I did confirm that Ahrefs does not have a spam score. It's a, it's a, uh, requested feature right now, actually. Um, and I've looked at a variety of profiles over the years, and I found that spam score to be pretty accurate because there are obviously links that you can spot that, that are, you know, Web 2.0 oriented or programmatically created or something like that. And so it's pretty good at identifying uh, mostly the spammy link. Sometimes I see something on there that's kind of like, well, I don't know if that's a spammy link, you know, but but a lot of them seem to be pretty reliable. And when you're trying to do things at scale, this is really useful. Now, the problem is that you can only do this one at a time. And, um, and, and so this is also something, let me also note this, because a lot of people criticize Moz because the domain authority can be falsified. And this, this is one of the reasons that I was looking into this more recently, because as I order more and more links for projects, you know, there's, it's really easy to miss, you know, when certain links that you've purchased from a vendor like have a falsified DA and sometimes the vendor doesn't even isn't even you know aware of it because maybe they're a part of like you know group access to certain assets and they're not even very knowledgeable about you know the link profiles of all their their assets that they've been given access to whether it's through you know agency organizations or, or whatever the case might be anyways the point is you have to look at not just the domain authority but you have to look at the spam score because the domain authority can be falsified if they load it up with a bunch of crummy links. Excuse me. And um, what Moz needs to do is they need to have a correlation between DA, PA, and spam score. And maybe Moz rank does that. Maybe I'm just ignorant of that. Let's see. Inbound links. Because there's a score called Moz rank. Doesn't sh maybe it doesn't show it on this page. But there needs to be a score that gives you a correlation between the spam score, the domain authority, and the page authority. And um, then that would allow us to see, you know, what really has, you know, more legitimate authority and maybe an indication of, like, what has toxic authority. This is an example of a little entity that it doesn't have any kind of, it has a very low spam score. But then, of course, the issue is we can see that it, it has no ranking keywords. So this would be a, an example of the beauty, the beautyspotblog.com. This would be an example of a domain where not necessarily a bad link, but it doesn't have any history of rankings, some Russian links there. So that kind of makes you think that this is not really trusted by Google if it has a domain authority that high. So you have to, you have to look at all the, the factors and combine them because for some reason, none of the tools do that you know, uh, like they should. Anyways, 
So, uh, how, and, and, and anyway, back to the, the topic though, how do you check the span score in bulk? Well, scrape box. <laughs> and so for those who've watched my channel, you know that I do a lot with scrape box and I've been, I've been really critical about on scrape box for like all these different things that they could do to improve basic features and how you handle data. And then one day you see they add the Moz plugin and it's just kind of like, what are you guys thinking? It's just completely useless. Why would I need a tool that checks Moz stuff in bulk when I can just use Moz? And, and now I understand like, this is the reason why you need to be able to check the spam score in bulk in particular. They give a, bu a bunch of other things like a whole lot of other things that I've never really even looked seen before, to be frank. So there's a lot of really specific criteria that's a part of the API. And this is not a part of the pro version. Like you can sign up to a free account and then you can sign up for the free usage limit for the API. And I guess it's like 2,500 free uses a month. And they do make you put in your credit card, but hopefully, I don't know if it, they charge you if it spills over, hopefully not. But um, it said that they wouldn't charge you unless you upgraded to a, a higher plan. But uh, I used the group buy tool and, um, and uh, I was able to just use their information and just click sign up and just use the API there. And that's plenty for what I need because I don't need to do this in huge, huge quantities. Like if you're doing proper filtering, you shouldn't need to do it in enormous quantities. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so anyways, I just looked for a DAPH uh, spam score. And, and in this, this is a list of like some fashion related and beauty related uh, 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 posts places for posting and um some of these are common like i've seen them some, from some other vendors like the beauty chat blog i've seen that from some other vendors and um this this was really useful for being able to look at the spam scores and so basically you just want to correlate spam score with traffic so you 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 get your list of entities throw them into the Moz plugin for Scrapebox, grab the spam scores. Probably, I'm not really sure how high you'd want to go. Maybe, you know, five or not, five or 10 or something like that. Obviously, I don't want to get these Indian entities, you know. Um, and these negative ones, this, these, are, these were really high when I tested them. Dante Flower. Let me show you this. Uh, show you. If we go here, that one had a negative one, DanteFlower.com. You can see it, it doesn't enter the spam score, but when you look at it here, I mean, it shows a large percentage, 82% are low, but then there's, you know, a good... 16 or 17 percent that are higher and so some of those are, are are quite a bit higher so i mean that one could be okay i guess that's that's technically 17 percent spam score 17 spam score something like that but so i guess it could just be an api glitch or whatever anyways so then you would basically just want to take those entities and then come over to Ahrefs in your group by tool and drop those into the batch analysis utility under more, you go to batch analysis. And so since we can't get traffic from SE ranking, for example, Ahrefs does have a quantity of keywords ranking utility in under the batch analysis section. And so you can see like the fabric exchange, 503 keywords. That's See, that's in the top 100 though. So that's not even as good, but at least they're indexing those pages and they're on the way to ranking. You can see they estimate some traffic. So out of those samples, there's only like a small number that really have keywords and any estimated traffic. Let's see. That's just pure traffic. Probably want to organize by keywords really. And so just those selections. And and when you when we since 
Ahref doesn't have a spam uh, score utility, I would want to correlate it between the two. So uh, Fabric Exchange, the Fabric Exchange is what we would want to look at on that list. So if we organize this alphabetically, then we should be able to get up to it. The Fabric Exchange. And so you can see there, spam score of five. So it, it's relatively low and it's got 20 DA, but then it's got 45 page authority. So it's, you know, that that page is just up a bit more. But anyways, just kind of show you guys a process that I've been working on for years in terms of trying to figure out the most ideal links to get. Like, it's not all about the DA, PA, the, all those like core metrics that they give on the domain necessarily. Um, oftentimes I'll look at when I use, when I use Dom detailer, I will look at the referring domains and between referring domains and links overall, I'll often, uh, excuse me, I'll often, you know, try to get to a one-to-one -one ratio. So if it's like 50 referring domains, you don't necessarily want 3000 links because then that means there's a lot of duplicate, you know, domains on those or duplicate pages on links on those domains. What happened here? So I'm just crunched down there anyways. Um, but it's like 50 referring domains, 50 links. That's, that's a better ratio. Um, and of course, AHF shows, uh, let's see, referring domains here in total. So you'd want to see referring domains versus total links, I believe. So this would be an example, like 200 referring domains, 2,400 total links. That's, that's not really a great ratio. So you kind of want to figure out this one's not bad. This is like one domain and then like two, two links per domain. Basically that's, that's pretty good. That'd be a good link to get probably because there's real traffic and, you know, metrics and what have you, what would be another good one? Let's see. See, that one's a huge, just a crazy ratio. Um, 600 to 5,500. That's no good. Wish I could drag this. I have to export this in order to drag them next to each other. This one's not bad. This one's nine hundred to two thousand. So that's like you know, one domain and two links. Two links per domain, basically. That one's not bad, right there. Don'twalkfashion.com. That one's not bad right there. The saloon Seattle.com. So you get the idea. You look at spam score, you look at referring domains, you look at whether or not there's actually any traffic coming in. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to do another video after this because under uh, in my server here, I did a batch of expired domains. That was like a, a, a huge sample. It's like 2 million URLs processed. And I kind of wanted to show maybe the results of uh, that and see if Scrapebox is expired domains were maybe better than uh, I think I'm going to do a trial on Spamzilla and kind of do a compare and contrast and uh, take a look at the metrics on those. So check that check out my next video on that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget that there is a a purchase link below this description for group by SEO tools. If I use a different service in the future, I'll let you know. There's there's like a bunch of services that do this. This is the one that was ranking for me at the time. And I got my deliverable really fast and got access to a lot of different tools, uh, Moz, Ahrefs, and several other tools. So check out that link in the description and I'll catch you later. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.